Hi everyone. I had a few comments in my last video about it being a bit shaky, which is definitely fair enough. So I have purchased a small tripod for my phone. So I thought I'd give that a test in this video. And I also have received uh, a small shipment of some CPUs from CPU World. So I wanted to show you my latest purchases and uh, have a quick chat about them and um, go from there. So the first CPU that I got was this K62. It's a 233 megahertz version. So I'm trying to find a K62 that runs at a similar frequency to just the normal K6. I think it's interesting that you can get a 300 megahertz K6 and you can get a, like a 233 megahertz K62. I'm not sure why there's such an overlap, but uh, this one I think will be a nice addition to the collection. The next CPU is this K62266. So it's interesting, it's got a different markings with the black text. It actually looks really nice. Uh, this one's got a, some Velcro on the back, so I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, that one uh, I just picked up because I don't have a 266, so I thought that would be good. At some point, I am thinking of doing a K62 CPU scaling video. So I think uh, that will be useful for that. The next CPU looks a bit dirty, but as you can see here, it is a K63450. And this is the original K63, not the K63 Plus. So it runs at the 2.4 volt core. So it does run a bit warmer. Yeah, some of these pins are definitely a bit bent, but I should be able to straighten them out. So I already have a 400 megahertz version of this, but I picked this up because I didn't have a 450. So that'll be nice. Now, the main reason for my purchases is for this chip. This is a, another wind chip at 200 megahertz. So I really wanted to see if the other wind chip I had was dead or simply incompatible with the motherboard. Uh, and look, I actually suspect the other chip probably is fine and it is just incompatible, but I have another one. I'm not sure if it's the exact same model. I will need to compare the exact markings, but it is a wind chip one at 200 megahertz. So definitely very interested to, to test that. So I'm hoping that I will get a video out shortly. And the final CPU, which I'm quite excited about actually, is this one here, the wind chip two. This one is also 200 megahertz, which I think is interesting, uh, but uh, it is the version that has 3D Now technology in it, which I think is very interesting. I'm not actually sure if there's another manufacturer that, uh, other than AMD, that had uh, 3D Now, so we will see. Now, this again, this one's got some bent pins, but I think I can straighten them out. But this is the Winship 2A. I didn't actually realize there's a Winship 2, a Winship 2A, and a Winship 2B. This is the 2A, so the middle of the three. I don't think there are huge differences, but I will do some research on it. But yeah, very interested to see how the MMX and 3D Now performs on this chip. And I suspect this chip is actually quite a lot better than the Winship 1. And I'm surprised that there were so many differences considering it's still just a 200 megahertz chip. So that's uh, the CPUs. So I think we have some good options. Now I want to see if this zooms in nicely. Yeah, so that's two and a half times zoom. So that's definitely pretty good and seems quite stable. So I think I will do my best to use this when recording other videos. That's all for now, but I'm hoping that I'll test some of these wind chips shortly and hopefully I can uh, get a video out and compare it to my other CPUs. Uh, that's all. Thanks, guys.